and I'm going to section this out. So since it's basically right in here, right. I'm going to cut this here. I'll cross section here and then I'll parse out more. And I guess I can stick it right there. Yeah, I mean, you see it? You want me to? No, I got it finally. Oh my God, look how cute. <gasps> Do you get a picture? <laughs> you can, I can't. I'll try. I'm gonna turn my flash off first. So, we might wanna, we might wanna try tipping it first to, well, I don't know, I guess we really can't. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, I guess we could try turning it first to get them out or to get it out. Get what I'm saying? Yeah. Here, let me use this flashlight on your phone to illuminate because, like, the flash itself. Oh, wait, maybe I got it. Get this out of the way. There we go. Look how cute it is. It's just little pudgers. Hi, little pudgers. Okay, we're rolling. <laughs> yeah, it looks like just one. Yeah, it does look like just one. Looks okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to roll the log that way to kind of like I mean, they tip got it. Lucky that they cut where they cut. Like. Yeah, I mean, you can see they spiked the tree. Those are gaff marks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that's crazy. I see it all. Yep. I mean, I guess it didn't matter if it was coming down. No. But, yeah, I mean, that's that's a deep one. So, it is basically up to, like, I have to just get the back part off and cut some of the bottom. It's still going to be a heavy piece. I brought the ladder, so. And the plan would be... I don't know. I, I don't. See, I want to say it was right here because this I looks thought, like it. it was right here. Because it's mounded there. Because she said something about the backyard, though. I don't know. Um, Did you talk to the homeowners yes, okay. but I think the goal first is to get the juvenile out, yeah. and then we go from there. Wait. Right, I'm gonna turn my light off. I see it in there. I guess I can try and snap a photo. Mm, nice shot. You want me to do the flashlight on mine? No, I got it. See my helmet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, these are heavy. We might actually have to cut it down to work with it. Yeah, uh, I don't have any equipment with me. No, there's nothing I could, I mean, a log turner, but uh, if it, if it was already cut with it in there like that, I don't think there's going to be too big of an issue. I mean, we could go the opposite direction. Do you think it's hurt in there? Like, just when the tree came down? Can Normally when they do this, they rig the whole thing down. Like, this oh. wasn't just dropped. Okay. Yeah, there we go. How about this? There we go. Need the light on for it. Red roof in. <laughs> oh, look who's in there. Mom's in there too. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. I see the brown because it was just white for the baby, right? Yep. So mom's in there. Mom's a baby. Pissed off. All right, so, new plan. But wait, it was such a good shot. Do you want to try it one more time and I'll tap the focus while you hold? Because the second one, it, it focused on the front, but not the side. I think I got it, but I was going to say, second plan is somebody needs to hold this while I turn. Okay. Or did you, all right, whatever. But let's. What do you want me to do? I just want to make sure it's not going to come out. Hmm. 
Uh, God, I hate to do this with it in there. The noise isn't the end of the world. We can use those two nests to kind of shield it. Mm -hmm. We'll put the two nests over top. Yeah, how about that? Let's leave it vertical. We'll put the two nests over top. Oh, you hear her snapping. I heard her. Oh yeah, she's right there. Okay, so. You can just hold. Yeah, well, I'll, I got this. Why don't you go get a helmet on? It's gonna get loud fast. Okay. And I guess I should put my shoes on now, too. That's ours. Don't forget. So where are the parents? Heidi? They're on site. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is very on site. All right, so. Snapping at us and everything. They're clicking, clicking. It's me clicking. I haven't done anything, but here, this will help. <gasps> Flaps, little flappers. Oh my God, can I wear these all the time? Yes. I can't hear anything, but my ears are smaller. Well, the beauty is you've got the microphone and when I'm wearing this similar helmet, then we can actually talk to each other. You're never going to wear the similar helmet. You've got the... Well, I can take off this. Your helmet is... Because I have three of them. Okay. The ear flaps hold so much. I didn't see these were in here. Yes.
first cut done. Where do these little guys go? How do I make them go away now? Well. Wait, here, take it off. I want to see so I know how to do it. Lift it up. I got these. Oh, she is not right there. Good. No, she's not. She hasn't been. Okay, so this goes here. Go out. Okay. No. No. Out. Oh. Yep, now push back. I'm just... Yep. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay. All right, let's put right there. Now I want to... I'm gonna dig a little. I know you didn't say anything, that's right. You didn't have to. But I love you. I appreciate you doing Love you. Okay, I'm digging out dead, but what I'm also trying to do is see if this goes into that cavity. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like I can cut down to about there, but again, I just want to make sure. Small cuts can't hurt. Yeah, I think it does go right in that cavity. So, question. Yeah. I know this is dead. What about the rest of this? Was this a tree that like needed to come down or? Uh, this this was yes. Okay, so it's a laurel oak, and there was a lot of the, in the a lot of center. decay in there. So that that yeah. is not normal. That is. Well, I mean, it's normal for these, but this is again the stuff where they fail. Right. It's 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 on its way out. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna look in here again. Let go. Here. Okay. Here. I'm just keeping my hand over it so I can. Actually, that's a good idea. How about you take a stick and let's poke it down as far as it can. And I'll just watch in there to see when we hit the... The guide? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where's that little one I just had? Mm. Here. Let's do this. This is pretty long and straight. This end. Just poke. No, 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 no. Through okay. the dirt. Yep. You won't hit anything. Oh, right there. Stop. Go back. Stop right there. No, go back. Pause right there. Okay. Put your finger on it. Put the whole thing out. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, so I can cut right there. Perfect. You're the greatest, Heidi. All right, all right, you're good. You can take it away. I can move? Yeah. So, right there. <laughs>
ones in? Yep. Got my flat earplugs in, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna measure depth. So let's uh yeah, we got it. Okay, here's this. I can actually move a little more off that side wall there, but let's not stress it. Um, we want to do a another stick. Yep. Is this? No, that's broken. Is Just the, the the whole thing. I can use the whole thing. Yep, let's see. I mean, there's this one. I didn't know if that was too thick. If it's super straight. No, this is this will work. Uh, put the top back on. Yep. Okay, so, ouch. It's basically the whole depth. Yeah, it's still gonna be a heavy log. All right, let me measure a bottom. Mm -hmm. You ready? Go ahead. Move, mom. She's like, no. I'm committed. I'm in here, I'm not moving. This is a good mom. It's a red phase, too. Oh, that's your favorite. Yep. Uh, I could probably trim. Let me see. Let me try. I don't think she's going anywhere. But no, I was just, yeah, here, let me do this. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I could probably pull a little more off the bottom. Go ahead. <clears throat> Alright, I'm only going to cut a couple inches off. Okay. But again, it's going to get loud. And, yep, go ahead. I mean, the other thing is, we could probably just stick like a shirt in there, or yeah. Whatever you think is best. Right here. That's a hole. How about this? Take this. Perfect. I'm going to sit that one there for now. Because we'll probably end up sticking everyone in there if they come out. You know a modification I thought of these? What? Drawstring around the top. Oh, yeah, like to pouch it. Yeah. All right, ready?
orientation wise when you put it up i'm gonna try and put it up this way right so, so that's like, what does that equate to on here is this the bottom and this is the top or i'm not 100 percent sure i think it's actually the other way around i think that yeah that's the bottom because the rot would be accumulating in here right. and then exiting out the bottom so causing internal rot put something across the bottom so that the bot literally the bottom doesn't fall out it can't fall out like of the the tree itself the nest okay can't fall out all right so i think next position is i'm going to take it and actually put it like set it on here this way so i can remove stuff from the back Yeah, see, that's inside. Right. So I guess that's my point. It can't get out. We can we can cover up the top so that the top is rainproof. Right. But as it stands now, it's fine. So the bottom, that dirt, like the rotten wood, that's gonna more or less stay in place. For the most part, it'll water seep through. Okay. So it's got its own natural drainage. Yeah. I gotcha. All right, I'm gonna come over there. shave off as much material as possible right. keep the weight down yeah without interfering too much with them honestly i think i can come back to here you want to do the stick thing the yeah thing. just a moment i'm trying to do the eye thing first <laughs> <laughs> um yeah what a conundrum hear it oh i hear it now yeah I don't hear it now, but I did hear it. Now. Yeah. So I can still remove a little here, a little there. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah. Where's the stick? There, right here. <laughs> I'm not touching it, by I the know. way. No, it started before you even put it in there. Yeah. Yeah, that feels like that whole back piece is just unneeded. Yeah, I think I can get that whole piece right there. Where is thou at? Like, is it up here? Basically, like right there. Okay. Yeah, let's see. That's my butt. Yeah, mom's right here. Mom's like, what is going on? Alright, there's fresh poop in there. It looks like there's two. There's two outlets. Is it really two? Yeah, you'll see in a moment. 
I just want to verify this one's going all the way to the back. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so that's all the way to the back. You want me to get a longer stick? No, that's it. It's all the way to the back. Yeah, I mean, I could shave a little off, but I think for the most part I should leave that. Mom's right there. She's a good mom. <laughs> I trapped up. her. She doesn't have a choice. But no, you're right. She is a she is a great mom. Okay. I mean, she's so stuck around through all this. But I hey, can, before we blocked it off. Yeah, I can cut right there. I can cut that off. Try and keep that nub. Yeah, I guess I'll cut that right there. Yeah. Can you see this? You want to see mom real quick? Oh my goodness, she is literally. <gasps> Hi, mama. You see the babies in the back? Don't go anywhere, Mom. I'm gonna block you for a second. Do you see him? See one. One all the way to the back, and then one to the left. Oh, that is really deep. Yep. I only see the one, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't want to stress him out. <laughs> see the one though. <laughs> yep. All right, I'll cut a little more off. Hold that a moment. Yep. So. Yeah, I guess we can stick it up there. It's gonna be heavy. Nothing to really climb. I got the ladder. All right, cutting. Literally in this crotch. Yeah. So like ladder, lift it up, and then just kind of get this stuff out of the way and just set it right in there. Like every woman. Yeah, honestly, once this is done, I wouldn't mind having this piece back if they don't want it still in the yard. Yeah. All right, I guess we'll get that ladder set up. I'm gonna grab some pictures. See if I can get mom real quick. Oh, they're both behind her now. Yeah, when I looked in, I could only see the one because it was uh, moving. Hard to see. That's all right. Keep that in there. Uh, as far as waterproofing the top goes, 
I guess what we can do is, once it's up there, right, it's not at any weight while we're hoisting it up. We can just put that on. Yeah. Water still might seep, but it'll be on a slant. Yeah. Cool. Ladder's on. Yep. Uh, let me just take a peek and see where the best area to be is going to be. The best area to be is going to be... I guess it really is just kind of there. Yeah. No, these are not good cuts. Crap out of my way. Oh, look at that. What do we got? <gasps> oh! Bugs. I don't know, I don't trust him. I'm gonna knock him out of the tree. Oh, they fly. Maybe they're love bugs. Maybe it was a gaggle of love bugs or something. a fuck fest, who knows? I was gonna... Once I realized you had back camera, I, uh, centered myself. <laughs> you did not know. Oops. <laughs> it's been on the whole time. I realized it after I made one statement and you reacted to this one. <laughs> Could you move this? I sure can. I'll just prune this up a little more, a little better. Thanks. <laughs> it looks a little better. Stuff going. Turn the light out. Yeah. 
Wow, that smells great. What is it? Smells like uh, Korean barbecue or... Oh, it is, I get it over here. I wasn't getting it Whoever's cooking, bring me a dish. <laughs> Smells great. Okay. This one we might not even need to screw in. See how high I can get it. One more time. Looks like it's going to be pretty well nestled in there. Yep. Point of entry just to the right. I'm thinking I'm going to need to go up here and then just yeah. literally set it right there. No, this is not the right way to do it, but that's the way I did it. There it goes. I looked at the warm up before I got, um, did I have a settle on Gorilla? Warner did it first. Warner did it first. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Hey. All right. Still a very awkward size. And like the distribution of weight on that is it's still gonna be heavy. It's more my point. Yep. I don't. You direct me. I'm happy to help. I just don't know what I can. Yeah. I mean, I, I could cut a lot more weight off this, but at that point, it's want to cause as little harm as possible. And I guess hold the ladder. That side. Like you step on it. Yep. I don't know if this is gonna work the way I want it to. I might have to just rig it. I think rigging it's the smartest. Yeah. All right. I would just stick all that, if you're gonna mess with it, back where the wood was. Okay, I was just trying to keep it out of your way. Yeah. Are we taking it with us? No. No? Okay. Yes. Okay, what do we got? Yeah, we could do a rescue. Oh, I was talking to myself. I said, what can we do? We can do a rescue. I don't have a rescue with me. I got a traction and a uh, Omni block. 
so I can just use Yeah, if I go here, have it up there, it'll pull it at an angle, but we'll be able to manipulate it through. Oh, right there, I can go right there. Okay, let's do that. All right, so turn them this way or this way. Twist, and then it's in. And then again, you just back. No, I love them, they're great. I mean, I can't hear when they're on, but yeah. they hold the hole they're on. I love that. All right, I was looking for red. Red lanyard. There it is. Webbing. I'm going to do a three to one. Uh, pulley up top, pulley at the bottom, so you're pulling from a lower point or whatever point you want and it just makes it so you're splitting your mechanical force, the, um, the you're getting a mechanical advantage, so you're having to exert the same amount of pressure with better lift. Okay. So in that case there's two fulcrums, right? Well you have, you have a pulley up top, pulley at the bottom, and another pulley up top or midway or however you want to do it. Yeah, something like that. All right, so we can go over. Come on, there we go. Okay. I'll show you about rings afterwards too. When we're removing gear, uh, I rigged these up in a manner that I could just do a little something here. I could pull it and it would take the rings out of a tree. So I can do it this way. This will get it. Actually, if I split it there, it'll bring it directly up versus dragging. If you want to do that, let's try that. Can't hurt, right? Rigging. Yeah, I can do this. Weight side is going to be here. All right, so. What's going on, Ed? How's it going? Hi, Ed. So, this is Heidi. Oh, headache. 
Well, just making sure no one got hurt. That's all. That's the point. Oh, I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, couldn't get it up. Uh, the, the dog was up there, and there was a crow that's been attacking the last three or four days. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, I agree. Okay. Did you guys already get it cut? Yeah, it's right there. It's right in here, and if you look, it, mom is in there right now. Is she really? Two babies and mom. Yeah, and she's right there. If she doesn't have any interest in coming out, we just put that in to yeah. safeguard it, but... Yeah, she's, she's hung out the whole time. Yeah, yeah I'll show you, Ed. You don't have to pull it out. She's right there. Yeah, that's a good mom. And she's got her babies nestled right up to her. Yeah. That is very cool. Yep. I can't believe that footage you got of those barn owls that were uh... Oh, the ones at my feet? Yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty cool. It's happened a few times. I just, I do so many, I tend to forget to bring my action camera and stuff. Yeah. So. You got good footage in that one. Yeah. Here. What's that? Oh, yeah. So I was debating. If I can help lift it up there or anything. Yeah. What I was basically doing was just taking all the, uh, the guesswork out of it. Mm -hmm. So we were going to, I was going to rig this and then we'll just hoist it back up using that just yeah. pull and that stops that's a uh that pulley actually has teeth yeah. so it's a capture device it's traction it up there. yep so plan was to basically get it up and i don't think i'm going to need to screw this in at all just based on the weight so i'll probably just set it in here if you see i cut the one side kind of round yeah. my goal was this piece here yeah as yeah. it's sitting in there it, it would kind of lock it in like a key Yep. Uh, Heidi, one carabiner. How about this one? You want to... Oh, if possible. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Literally. Uh, they're... They're, um... I think they're on my harness. You guys have been getting busy by everybody, huh? It's always how it's been. I just, uh... It's just been a little more publicized this year. It's probably just now starting to be screech owl season. Yeah, yeah. What did you say, babe? No? The big ovals? gray ones uh you might be right i keep losing them all yeah this guy. yeah we can use that modified okay. pair actually here here what did you use this there's an o oh there is an o yeah it's not the one i was looking for but it's one four five eight seven four three five i don't know but hello Yes, ma'am. I'm here at your house. I'm almost done. Uh, the mom's actually inside with them, which is even better. So she's been inside with them the whole time. Yeah, the tree right in your front yard, right in the center. Uh, I cut up the piece. I'm going to send you pictures of it. It doesn't look like I'll actually need to screw it in. I might put a screw in it just to keep it there, but... Um, I'm going to hoist it up into the, the uh, center crotch of the tree right in front of your house. So it'll be about 15 feet off the ground and maintain the whole thing for her. And again, in the future, if you decide don't want it there, all you got to do, give me a call and I come back and I'll remove it for you. Yes, ma'am. No problem, Pam. How's your function going? Good. We're leaving now. We're getting busy for a little while. <laughs> I just, I've had an hour on my mind, so I just want to get No problem. Well, I might still, depending on how long it takes you to get to and from, I might still be here, okay? Okay, no worries. We've got to stop today, so 
All right. Yes, ma'am. All right, not a problem at all, Miss Pam. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. All right, Heidi, the only other thing I'm thinking is why don't I do a couple holes in it? Uh, my plan initially was she to never, take her out. She never made any attempt to get out. Yeah. Like, she just was like, yeah. nope, I'm staying with my baby. Yeah, so the plan initially from, from, from my standpoint was I'll just get the babies out, we'll dump the log. Then when I realized mom was in there with it, I was yeah. like, man, she's probably been here through the whole cutting initially when they were taken out yeah. and rigging it out. So if she's willing to sit there through that, she can sit through a little more noise with the chainsaw. Yeah. And uh, that's what I did. So I'm going to put a couple of holes in that just to help with the rigging. Um, Try picking it up. It's not the end of the world. Yeah. It's heavily reduced now, but it's still not light. <laughs> Come on, Ed. Come on, Ed. I'll, I'll give you the, the hand of... <laughs> I'll be your other helping hand. <laughs> Birds and helping hands. Yeah, bad joke, I know. Will it, will it do it? That's the question. What about the paddle bit? Can you hear me the paddle bit, the spade bit, the red one in there? No, I'm trying to get enough so I have a little meat here to so the rope doesn't slip. And it's in the um, the clear holder. Yeah, I was just thinking if I had two points here where I could actually just feed the rope through, it would prevent any slippage on this. In normal rigging, I have no problem with it. Don't care, but with this, just trying to make sure I'm not jostling them around unnecessarily you see it long you just bring it bring the thing to me it's flat I'm sure I'm probably no it's no big deal this right here the oh, red one. Oh, I was like looking at like these no no here one sec. Let me see that's guy. probably hot yeah let me see let me see What's that? Oh no, it's uh, it was more just inappropriately using this. It's um, most most carpentry tools are are designed to work in dry wood, yeah. not wet. See, I'm gonna feed a rope right through there. Do the same on this other side real quick. Uh, Chris just texted. He 
guys have a minute to go put that branch or back up in the tree. The what? <laughs> a voice to text. Uh, he does not need a box. He just needs to be positioned up there. The barred owl probably in the tree. Yeah, I bet. Up in their oak. All my people are at the property from St. Pete. Wow. Um, um, here, let me go into the... Yeah, if we can get info on it, that'd be yep. useful. Let me go into the dispatch. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Can somebody get over and put this branch or screech back up in the... Oh, another screech. My name is Norman. My phone number is this. My address is this. What'd you say? We're just getting into screech season, Ed? Yeah. <laughs> I kept saying to him, I'm like, man, oh, I, we haven't had any screech. I really. said, just wait. Uh, yeah, you did. No one listens to Mike, but it's okay. Oh. Uh, I found an owl under the hood of the car. Please call me to find out what to do with him. He's just a baby. But it is. It's just in St. Pete. Do you want me to let her know we're just finishing up here? Yeah. At some there. point, I'm going to have to stop at the grocery store to get stuff. I have okay. to do uh, corned beef and cabbage for Grandpa. Let's see. Yeah, that should work. And then I will... Yeah, I'll do it this way. Where is that one? What's the address? Um, I will pull it up. Um, it's not easy to see the ladder. I could maybe do it on my, on my way home. You know who Chris is, right? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I worked with her at Bush Gardens as a zookeeper. Was, oh, that's awesome. 30 years ago, 25 years ago. I think she actually mentioned that. Babe, could I have the carabiner, Heidi? Yep, right here. Sorry.